I'll be showing you how I beat the boss, Champion Victor in Lies of P. So this is a pretty challenging boss, and one thing I like about this boss is you get access to one of the greatest weapons in the game with the Puppet Ripper. This is a scythe that has a really great R2 attack, which has incredible range. That made this fight a lot easier, so I recommend using your abrasives in this. I think fire does better than electricity, but with the electricity one there, and I stacked up the damage as much as I could, the fire does a little bit more damage to him, but I use the Spectre for this fight to make it a little bit easier because the aggro is a little bit better when it can be spread amongst two figures there. So one thing to keep in mind is his attacks are very large and hit a great area in the hitbox. So stick, keep away as much as possible, preferably to his backside. And with a weapon like this, you can trigger the stagger really easily, as you can see there, and get some extra hits in too before you use that critical fatal attack. And then whenever he gets back up here, you can get a couple more whacks in, but the specter is about to die there, and that's when it becomes a one-on-one -on -one battle. We got about halfway through there before the specter went down, but that long range attack there makes this a lot easier. When we get into the second phase, this boss gets a lot quicker, and obviously that makes it much more of a challenge. This one took me a few attempts to get through, but using the fire abrasive here can allow you to stack on a little bit more damage. Whatever items you got are, I, I would say, bring them to this fight. Sometimes it's best to even go get a few more of them just to make the fight a little bit easier. Especially with a boss like this, I recommend trying it a few times without even using the specter. Just go at it by yourself and learn the timing of his attacks. I've gotten close even in just my practice rounds and uh, even just do maybe a couple rounds where you just block the entire time. I find that that can be an invaluable tool to make sure that you're able to pick up on the reading and timing of the attacks because some of them don't telegraph too great. Using the shot put there can stagger the boss and build up the poise damage too, so that's very useful. I really like this blade though because you can get in those attacks there and then the charge attack has such a long range which I didn't get it off quite in time, that's what I thought there, but that would have made for an end to the fight a little quicker. I brought up the abrasive again because I didn't have any, anything to keep me alive there, <laughs> um, but well, I had a few heals, I guess, but using the fire damage at the end there allows you to take it out a little bit quicker as I believe they're a little bit weaker to the fire damage. Also, swap out your amulets. That can make a big difference if you're going against a different type of enemy. Sometimes they are responding differently to different types of amulets. But with these tips, you should hopefully be able to take down Champion Victor. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button below, and I'll see you in the next video.